Thank and you. I'm, I'm asking you to consider that. Thank you very much. D before Mr. Spencer sits down and leaves with the councilwoman's permission just on that topic. Um, number one, uh, and again, this is where we're all at the individual level in case you weren't here. Um, does plea, do you as an officer, forget, I don't mean to forget plea, but I'm just talking to you as an officer for a lot of years. Do you believe there's a real need to have officers, and, I, and you said at least one area and you weren't here when the discussion started, that officers at the airport, officers at water, officers are transient, are needed for substantive matters and uh, not being plugged to hold to move I, around? Um, uh, Mr. Mayor and Council, I think homeland security is a real and valid problem. And I think addressing homeland security issues in the manner that the city manager has done at the airport okay. and at the water department are valid and reasonable. Transit. And transit also. Thank yes, you. and, and, and okay. what, what brings to mind is if you saw on the news several weeks ago, you saw a young girl absolutely get beat down at a transit station while security guards looked on. That's unacceptable. We can do better than that in Phoenix. The number two is, would you, again, as an individual officer, if you want to speak on please behalf too, I, I just talking to you as a veteran, that uh, efficiency, as you said, and my colleagues that have spoken so far are, are critical in every department, but two is, uh, particularly in public safety or police, in your opinion, the bottom line doesn't necessarily uh, equate to efficiency. We could, again, uh, uh, in theory, you know, be uh, doing electronic work and, and that ability to catch a crook uh, or to arrest or to get people off the street, even though it's maybe less expensive to use a, a, a non-sworn officer or a private security company. Uh, I, I guess what I'm saying specifically is do you think that the bottom line should be the determining factor if we can save money by cutting uh, the helicopter fleet gasoline as Mr. Zerker uh, or the assistant chief said, I forgot who said it. I don't know that that's in the best interest of the city even though we can save money that way. I, I'm, I don't know if that's clear enough or well, you I, get what I'm saying. Mr. Mayor, I guess I will respond this way, and, and, the, and Councilwoman Neely had another good point. Um, we, we were here just several weeks ago at the employee memorial service, and when you look at the names, 73% of those employees that gave their life were in public safety. That almost matches the budget amount. And so the citizens have clearly chosen public safety to be an important priority. Other services are also important, but your point, Councilwoman Neely, is since it is such a large portion of the budget, it better be run smoothly and efficiently. I don't think that's an unreasonable request. And certainly one of the manners to run the department efficiently is to make sure we have adequate manpower. Second of all, make sure we have adequate tools. Thirdly, to make sure we are being utilized efficiently. And so I don't, I don't know if that answers your question, Mr. I, Mayor, about a bottom no, line, I, but. I don't think so. I, and again, I, I, I guess I'm just trying to truly understand. Uh, 